Hey everyone, Michael Bodner here with another Tesla Tunity, and today is part two of making my Model 3 look like a performance Model 3. So come along with me and check it out. All right, so what's in the box? I saw you with the box. What was in the box? And where is it from? Well, it's from RPM Tesla. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I said I wouldn't do that ever again, but uh, this is the last time, I promise. Uh, this is the Performance Replica Spoiler. So we're gonna unbox this thing and show how to put it on the trunk. Now, I will say, the uh, bit easier if you look this way, the box took on some damage in shipping. So uh, first and foremost, I hope everything's okay and we will have a rest of this video. That didn't go so well last time, but uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, since we don't know where the spoiler is in here, I'm hoping it's here on the side that's not crushed. Uh, let's be very careful when we cut. All right, so pretty interesting idea here to use these uh, boxes to help with the shipping. And it looks like, well, this, we'll be hopeful that it did in fact work. So let's finish taking it apart. All right, can you tell it's a spoiler? Moment of truth here. All right, so I don't think the camera's gonna show this, but there are, first and foremost, let me say this, this looks really good and the, the test fit was great. There are a couple of white spots on here. I don't know what they are. So I'm gonna take some alcohol and I'm gonna try to wipe this thing down. Hopefully those come off. If they don't, we're gonna send this back. Uh, if they do, we're gonna keep going with the installation. Five minutes later. All right, well, good news. It all cleaned up, it looks good. Let's go ahead and install it. Step one, we're gonna do a quick detail spray on the trunk and we're gonna wipe it down with alcohol and then we'll go ahead and install this thing. All right, so we're using my O&R quick detail spray here. We wanna get the top of the trunk as well as the forward face of the trunk here. The spoiler does overlap this corner. All right, now I'm gonna take an IPA 70 mix that I've got. I'm gonna spray down the same area. We're gonna let it dry, then we're gonna put the spoiler on. Let's get you in nice and tight here on the install. So what RPM Tesla is saying is that this should overhang about one inch past that crack. And then the same on this side. They said you'll know the spoiler's in the right place because it'll be sitting great. And if uh, you don't have the overhead shot right there, but you can see it's lifting a little bit there. And if I move it more, it lifts more. So it's not carrying the line. So I've got to kind of find the sweet spot here. I gotta say, they don't give you a template and they say that's on purpose, but um, I would much prefer a template. Give me the one place this spoiler could go and uh, I'll be happy to know it's in that one right place. Kind of see a little overhang there on that. Maybe a smidge more to the right. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta say, I'm not happy with the uncertainty here. <laughs> All right. I think we've got it now. Okay, so now they say, see if you can uh, see this over here. There's a little red pull tab, same that's on this side. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna Lift up the spoiler, spoiler a little bit. We're going to start pulling this pull tab. Get it about halfway. And then we want to seat down that left corner there. We're going to keep pulling this out. You don't want to lose this tape in there. That would be really bad. All right.
And we're going to push in the spoiler everywhere. There you go. What do you think? All right, so if you look really closely, it's not 100% perfect here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some tape and we're going to tape down this corner. So we're going to use 3M painter's tape for the job. So there you have it. That's how you install the RPM Tesla Performance Spoiler. So far, so good. They say to give this three days, 72 hours to properly cure. So uh, hang in there for final impressions. Several days later. All right, so that's it. That's the matte finish carbon fiber performance replica spoiler from RPM Tesla. I have to admit dealing with RPM Tesla can be difficult. Customer service is non-existent. Communication is not a thing. One to two day shipping is 25 days later. Again, with no communication. Can you see if I'm bitter or not? Uh, but this is about 270 bucks. The exact same spoiler from Tesla is about 750. So, you can't deny the savings paying about a third of the price. It was probably worth the wait, worth the headache. And, uh, you know, three days of having some painter's tape on my car and some weird looks. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you like it, if you're thinking about getting it. I, I don't have any coupon codes to offer you. In fact, RPM Tesla asked me to never buy from them again. So I'm surprised this even showed up at my house. Uh, but again, that's all I have for you. That was part two of making my Tesla Model 3 look like a performance car. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.